Welcome back. One of the competitions ended abruptly. Uh, it was scary. I felt like I was being kidnapped, seriously. I was ushered out of there so fast. And usually we have to stay and sit there until the mothers fight and it's just so monotonous and rehearsed. It was, and it was, it was scary, honestly. Uh, we just came off, we just had a really big win. Huge people, win. people ask me all the time what my favorite number is. Uh, the number that we competed at season seven A nationals, I do truly seven, believe- Seven A. Seven A. Yes. The Good Wife and Grey's Anatomy and my friend Debbie Allen, everything she produces and directs. They have 13 episodes. We have like 26 episodes, 52 episodes. It's just seven. And, and yeah, so we have 7A. So at the end of 7A, we were in New York we in this we just huge done. venue. It was huge. And I remember. It was in Asbury Park. Asbury Park. And they told me that when the ships sink, I don't know about the Titanic, but whatever. <laughs> whatever ships sink, they bring the dead bodies in and they laid them all over the floor and they tagged them for their families to come pick them up and I'm like, I know, it was like creepy. I don't remember that, but it was creepy. I... And it had big, huge ceilings and rafters and I remember the lighting guys up there earlier seeing them thinking that is so dangerous, that's nuts. It was, it was, the, uh, it was the addiction piece. It was called Is There Still Hope? We had been using a song that someone gave us that we truly, truly you know, felt for. We loved the song, we loved the piece, the costumes, it all worked. Uh, it was a big, big win for us, and and it was uh, mature. It was a mature piece. The kids were getting older, and we were proud of what we, we did. We were ready to celebrate a big win, and we were ready to celebrate what might be the last win of Dance Moms. And play your character. No regrets on the stage. None. It might have been over. That would have been it. And we all were going back into the city. We we're making a weekend of it. I had a fly to to Seattle for Amazon and, and all this stuff. I was heading yes. into the city and uh, we were literally ushered out of the auditorium. We couldn't even like talk to the kids. Ushered. We I was even... grabbed by both elbows by men I'd never seen before, like literally manhandled, taken out of the theater, out of the dressing room, out of the venue, Same. out into the parking lot. There was a big uh, like SUV limo waiting for me. They shoved me in it and I was like trying to and, and I didn't have my phone charger. I left my phone charger in the dressing room and it was, was plugged in and I was like, I can't be without a phone charger. What was weird to me is that once, you know, I thought, oh, they're just taking me back early, kind of, it was kind of weird. They had walked me to my hotel room and like made sure that the door shut. That's weird. It was for really a young weird. girl alone like that, that's inexcusable. So we quickly found out what was up. I fell asleep. I woke up startled. My dear friend slash makeup artist slash hairdresser was on her knees next to the bed. I was this way and she was perpendicular to me with her hands on the bed bawling her eyeballs out. And all I could think about was that her boyfriend who was our lighting director had fallen from the rafters and died. I literally, that all went through my mind. She was hysterical. And uh, you Luckily wanna, it wasn't that. Yeah, thank yeah, God right, it wasn't it that. Wasn't that. Do you want to tell them why she was hysterically crying? They were bringing back a former cast member. That's what happened. And it was ridiculous because I know for a fact, because I have the paperwork with my signature on it, and I'm not allowed to talk about it, but she's broken every rule. She's talked about everything. She continues to this day to be deplorable her behavior about me. And uh, she sued the network. And I guess part of her deal was that she was allowed to come back with the other moms and make the money that she would have made after all those years. And that's it. And there you have it. So I was done, finished, gonzo after that. That was the like, straw that broke the camel's back. And one more thing I want to let everybody know. It's never the child. This child was a beautiful girl. Oh, yes. She was yes. tall. She always had the best leotard that we got into the store. She bought it before anyone else could even see it. She always looked like a dancer. She always made me proud on stage. She, I'm sure until this day, continues to make me proud. It was the mother. It was always an issue with the mother. And the mother just was not she couldn't keep up with the other mothers. There you have it. 
I gotta take, take this call. call. I'll take a call. See you later. Subscribe. <laughs> Turn on your notification bell. Come on. No, I was like, no, this actually isn't happening. This isn't real. So your parents failed you miserably. Stop looking at the floor. Head up in the back. Head up. Don't screw it up. I don't really dance. Okay, come on. Enough chit chat. She didn't even know me. Loser. <laughs> Supposedly some TikTokers live here, some influencers. <gasps> I'm not heading to Castile and Abby showed up today. No, I was like, no, this actually isn't happening. This isn't real. Oh my god! Oh, can I even get up here? <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. I'm going to start beeping right now. This is crazy. <laughs> surprise. 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 <laughs> I kind of knew a little bit. I kind of knew she was coming. So I just like look out and I read the, the thing on the back of the van. I'm like, what the hell's going on? <laughs> I was like, what, what's happening? No, I, so. I just heard like a car honk the whole time. I'm like, can someone quit that? Where are they? I don't know. If somebody was beeping in front of my house like that, I'd, like, I'd come out and say, hey. He's here. I don't know. My like 10 year old self was screaming. Like I was like, oh my God, this is like all my childhood dreams coming true. Look at the lions on the front of it. Where can I park? I don't know. Can What's I park? Because our manager, like, he didn't tell us at all. He said we had a meeting. Yeah. And then like everyone like stoned the front. Yeah, everybody was curious to see what it was. I had a feeling. I had a feeling. Yes? What's up? Are there people that TikTok here? Yeah. Hi! Hi. How is everyone? Good, how are you? Good. I want to see the TikTok people. Where are you? Let's go! Come on, people. who's going to be on top of the pyramid? Let's do this. Hello? Hi. How are you? I'm good, nice to meet you. Okay? Good. I'm all shot. <laughs> Now, is there talent in this house? All right, next, she's done, she's out. Go, next. And these girls are singers, TikToks, you know, a bunch of wannabes. You're out already, you're just out. What's wrong with you people?